hell. Super messy fun trousers. Super messy fun trousers. We're gonna hit Doofer each other trousers. at some point. Super messy fun trousers. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're playing Luffenwalsers, which means flying or something, airplane in the air, and then Rousers means nothing. But it yeah. sounds cool. It's but a, it's apparently very in the game SMFT comes up and it's super messy fun trousers. Other people have other words, some appropriate, some not words so that you much. say about playing this game as one foot. Not really like that, but. This to me feels like, um, it feels like combat as if they just updated combat from the Atari, but they made it 3D and like the graphics sort of, except for the cutscenes, it really feels like, you know, combat 2 to me, but in 3D. But it's Are we cool talking that you can upgrade. No, Lufen, well, it's got tanks, but there's also airplanes in it too. There's like different modes in the game. You can be the tanks or you can be airplanes. Huh. I think there's something else you can be. But yeah, combat is one of the, probably in my opinion, one of the best multiplayer games that came out in that time period. I think I know what you're talking about yeah. now. The fact that PAX even goes back to that game and has people fighting each other in the f at the end of uh, PAX in their mega battle shows that the, the game has a, had a lasting effect. But anyways, uh, I really like this game. I thought it was stylish. It's kind of getting getting old, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I find it to be a pretty I, I just, classic. I find it's oddly addictive, but I can't... It's addictive, but I, I I don't know how how to describe it. I don't know. Maybe if you know what it's I'm more talking. like a it's more like a fast paced shoot 'em up. Yeah. Where you where it's basically the score is based off multiplayer. I would say it's fun. I don't know. It's one of those things because I remember when I played it at PAX years ago, like seven years ago. Wait, is that right? Seven years? No. Five years ago, I played it at PAX. I'm like, oh, I gotta find out what game this is. It looks so cool. And I feel like it's one of those stylish games where it looks cooler to watch, and then when you play, like, I don't know, we only saw two ships, or airplanes, I mean, so, and you can upgrade stuff too. Yeah. I think the whole upgrade process is what gets you to keep on wanting to play. Exactly. Gets I you didn't that find one it more as much, turn yeah, I didn't find it as much fun, like, the actual gameplay, but maybe it gets better as you upgrade, I don't know. What do you think? Yep. Yeah? Uh, music's interesting. It's weird, glitchy. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's pixel. It's pixelated. It's chip tune, trashy, glitchy. I don't know. It's chip step. Chip step. Yeah, there you go. Chip step. That's. Um. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't really see. It's got a distinctive look. It looks like it was released on an Atari years ago. Like, it, yeah, it kind of feels like it was released on a very old uh, console. I'd say like if if like the Nintendo became a Game Boy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the greatest appeal of this game is really like the visual stands out. Um, I would give it at least a seven out of ten. It's not. As, it, it's one of those weird games where I find find like me watching it more entertaining than me playing it, but it's oddly addictive, yet I don't find it fun, if that makes any sense. The addictiveness level for me is around an 8 out it's, of 10. It's like a bullet hell, but it's not really that intense. It's it's pretty intense, but it's not 100% a bullet hell. Yeah. Trust me, yeah, we'll be covering that feel. very soon. Yes, very shortly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you can get on sale for 2 or 3 bucks, I mean, that's a good time passer, but I just don't find it... Yeah, it doesn't immediately magnetically attract me to uh, keep on playing it, so... Yeah. It's not horrible, not mind-blowing, it's not going to change your life, but it's okay for, you know, the past... What time. it is. That's why... Personally, I for me, I like it. it. It does give that, like, uh, just one more turn approach, but... Yeah. I kind of... I, so okay. I'm trying to actually figure out my wording. Um, that's Basically, the thing. That's what makes it hard for me to describe because I don't feel it's addictive, but at the same time, I find it's moderately addictive. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. it's pretty. I guess you can say it's pretty average, like or above average at least. Yeah, I, it doesn't blow you out of the water. It doesn't blow your battleship, but 
you know, it's still kind of fun. That's, I think, the best Very fast-paced uh, fight shooting game. I recommend it. Yeah. I recommend it, too. I mean, if you want to pick up some a cool indie game, Blast from the Past, for the last few years, check it out. It's you definitely know, a, it. It's kind of like a con game. You like using that phrase. You like using I that know, phrase. I know, but like you've adopted it now. Yeah, okay. because we're categorizing our games now. Yes. Keep on gaming, Ottawa. All right, keep on gaming. Lufin Rousing. <laughs> yeah. Super Mega Trouser Pants. All right, bye-bye.